and some light skinned girls <laughs> and some Kelly Rowland. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say, come again. If you cannot stay down, then you do not have to pretend. Like there is no way out. I did a good job in this picture, right? Yeah. You guys, Dom came to visit me. Perfect. We were supposed to go out, but it's raining. But if nobody else hypes me, if nobody else is gonna let me know that I look good, it's always gonna be Dominique. When I tell you that this girl voice goes like so much baritone <laughs> that it gets so deep, like, oh my god, so nice. Like, and I'll be like, all right, bitch, Brit, you did that because I'm telling you. She gives you the feedback that you that she was looking for. I'm like, I can't wait to post this picture today because, girl, girl, yo, like this picture. She yo, sent it to herself, y'all. Literally, like, out of a magazine, like, yo, like for no, not for the for hype, y'all, not the hype, y'all. I'm so serious, like, yo, it's everything. It's the brick wall. It's the color. Ah! It's it's the skin, yo. It's everything, mm. yo. And it's there go my there go my confidence booster for the week, y'all. That's it. I don't need uh, nothing else. I don't. Mm -mm. This is y'all. So I am getting ready to go out to dinner with Dom, and we both look like something now. We don't we don't beat our face. Dom, say hi. Hi. Ain't we cute, y'all? And some light skinned girls and some Kelly Rollins. And the funny part is, I don't even know what I am. Let's talk about it. Um, some people would tell me I'm light skinned. I really feel like I'm brown skinned. But then people would be like, I'm too light to be brown skinned. So it's like, what party, what club do I belong to? I feel like I'm light brown, if anything. But anyway, we all beautiful. We're all perfect. Black girls are the best. But yeah, um, I want to show y'all what I'm wearing. Hopefully, Dom. Dom, show them what I'm wearing. Those are from Pretty Little Things. My jeans is from Fashion Nova. My top is from Pretty Little Things. And my bag is from Zara. Y'all seen this little bag before. What's it giving, y'all? Is it giving bad bitch or no? Show them what you said. Look, and then it got. Look, she said that she feel like PETA. Like all legs. <laughs> you know the Peter Griffin meme? Look, if it focuses, it doesn't want to focus, but you know what I mean. There you go. <laughs> she get on my nerve. Mind you, she has like some of the longest beautiful legs. You be going to talk about. I feel like I'm all legs. Yeah. Some people don't got enough legs. So, we're on the way to go eat on this rainy Friday. Yeah. What? You know what I never see? I always see girls out to eat, but I don't really see men out to eat with their friends. Like, I feel like, um, they might only do, like, a birthday dinner for each other. I just feel like, where y'all be at? Because I'm here, and I'm still single. So, what's going on? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there. Look at Chi-Chi and Cha-Cha. Hey, girls. So oh, we're waiting for Dominique is over there. We're waiting for um our table. We're waiting for a table because she said it's gonna be like 30 to 40 minutes. And um I was taking pictures over here and the um security was being a fucking hater talking about we can't take him take pictures in front of his facility, but bitch, I wasn't even facing like the doors, so I didn't even get what the problem is. So I politely proceeded to keep taking my pictures because bitch, this shit is going on the ground because I don't have a man yet, so that's what's gonna happen. And yeah. We're eating. We got that drink. I'm trying to see like, what yeah. is the camera? Now we done. Ooh. Hi. I was scrubbing my face so hard like I got on the eyes the bag but we got home I didn't really vlog that much in the restaurant simply because oh my god look at that <laughs> ew 
I didn't really vlog that much in the restaurant simply because I felt as though the music was just really loud and I didn't I, it wouldn't make any sense because I would have been copywritten and it didn't make sense for you guys just to watch me eat but um I got home and TikTok banned me from my shirt which was so freaking corny like they said for nudity when we're not even gonna get into that because y'all already know how TikTok be but um I can't even take myself. I honestly didn't even wash my face. I just wiped the makeup off with the makeup wipes because I'm afraid that if I wash my face, I'll wake up all the way. And right now it's like 12 o'clock and I need to be back up by 5.30 and leave the house by 6.30. So Dominique also spent the night and I gave her my bonnet. And if that's not real love, if that's not real black girl love by sacrificing your bonnet, for your friend, for your guest, that I don't know what it is. Mind you, I got one of them long bonnets that you're supposed to use for like braids or like long hair. And I always put like the headband that I wear around my head in there inside the bonnet so that all my stuff is just in the same place. And I just went to go look for my bonnet, um, my headband, and I realized it's on her head. And I'm like, I'm not gonna wake her up. So, I real love at it its finest. Um, I'm going to make an appointment to speak to Apple around 5 o'clock tomorrow. And um, hopefully we can figure this out. I'm so tired of talking to you guys about me and my iMovie struggles. My technical difficulties with everything. My camera, everything. It's just like, I can't wait for it to be smooth sailing whereby I can just upload what I want and give y'all the videos that that I have like you know what I'm saying I feel like all my videos are going to be so backed up simply because I just keep having technical difficulties even I had like three try on haul videos and those three videos were filmed three times each and I still hate them like I listen I had a whole meltdown and I think I told y'all that previously in another like clip like early in the week but I'm just like over it like I'm ready to give the content I know I can give without being stopped. I really definitely feel like it's one step forward, two steps back. And you know, my mom always used to say like, whenever you feel like you're doing really good things and everything's going wrong, is that you're just under attack by the devil because he's aware of your power and aware of what you're doing and aware that God just has his hand on you. So she's just like pray. So I'm just going to go back to praying because I feel like lately over the last couple of weeks i've been feeling a little you know i've just been feeling a little attacked and i feel like it's time for me to definitely grow grow um, you know grow closer to god and like remember my spirituality and remember how i was raised so yeah because he definitely always protects me so i'm gonna have to do that okay guys good night good morning so i am up oh this is the new serum that i was showing you guys this is what the packaging looks like i just had to read um how to apply it because <clears throat> she sent me instructions she sent me a text of instructions on how to you know what order to put everything on so that's what i'm doing i'm getting ready to go oh this is weird the texture it's kind of weird but I'm getting ready to go to the Apple store like I told you guys before hmm I don't know it's kind of weird so and then um I'm gonna see why I don't have enough storage like how to properly delete stuff and I low-key be feeling like they just be wanting you to buy more storage because that was the first thing the computer suggested buy more storage no like I'm paying for so many things. Like, I just found out the other day that I was still paying for Hulu. I don't use Hulu. I actually only got Hulu a couple months back when Snowfall um, was on TV. And basically, I feel like I don't think that contract has a contract. That Fios has a contract with FX, the movie network, that the show network that snowfall comes on because I didn't, I could not find it. I could not find snowfall. I could not find the show. So 
I ended up getting Hulu. But I didn't even watch the last episode. And I love that show. I didn't even watch the last episode. I was just like, uh, over it. But, so I just canceled Hulu. I canceled something else. I don't remember. But my sister always trying to get me to get these damn subscriptions. And I really don't even be watching TV like that. So, and then it's like, even with The Real Housewives, like, I don't really watch The Real Housewives. I watch all the franchises except for, I think, that, um, the Johannesburg one. That's in Africa, and it's another one. There was a new one where the girl married her grandfather, something like that. It was a new one. I forgot where they're at. I want to say Colorado, but then I really don't think it's Colorado, but... Anyway, like, yeah, I don't be using those things. And then it's like they show the clips on this page that I follow on IG for, like, um, Real Housewives. So sometimes if you watch enough clips, you be feeling like, all right, you already know what happened in the, um, in the damn episode. So, I don't know. I just, I just been so focused on other things that I haven't really paid attention to that. So I am running late. It's 846. I'm supposed to leave by, I think, 945. And it's not that I wasn't up. I was up. And then it's like I started doing my baby hairs and finagling them. And I just knew I should have just left it alone and just, you know, put a little hairspray. But, like, I wanted to, like, redo them. And then it wasn't coming out the way I wanted. It wasn't, like, overly frustrating. You know when you just be mad that you want to cry because it's not coming out the way that you want it. It wasn't like that. It's just, like, seriously when I want to go. But I knew better. So now I'm going to run and put on my face real quick because... I honestly don't want to have to come back to the house. Um, I don't want to have to come back to the house when I'm done with um, the Apple Store. I want to just go straight to Brooklyn because I have an appointment. An appointment. I have tickets to the cause exhibit. This is so annoying because I'm supposed to give my skincare like a chance to go on before I start spraying any primer and stuff but it's like I don't have time and I just don't know how my face is going to react to this like I just want to have a good makeup day because I'm already fighting against my brows but yeah guys that's basically what's going on and I'll talk to you guys when I'm done hey y'all so I'm at the Apple store and I'm waiting for someone to help me and when I checked in and I made the appointment, I made the appointment for my phone. And basically what ended up happening is he was saying, telling me that they have limited like technicians that work on computers. So that's why they weren't giving me the option to, you know, make an appointment for my laptop and they do it over the phone now. But I'm like, I am not tech savvy. So you're not, I understand that they mirror the computer, but I would have got so flustered trying to figure out to, what to press and blah blah blah. So I'm just sitting here waiting for someone to show me how to delete things correctly. Like when I was telling him that I was deleting stuff and it wasn't, um, it still wasn't enough stuff, stuff deleted for it to be, for me to have more space on my computer to free up more space. So he was saying that it's probably just really large files that's why, that I have on there. But I deleted so much so. I really don't know what else I could do. Hi, right here. Okay guys, so I just left the Mac store and I'm actually just sitting in the parking lot. I'm about to put on my eyelashes because I didn't get a chance to do that before I left because I didn't want to be late for my appointment. He was able to help me with everything and show me how to properly delete files and basically like I suspected, even though I was deleting them from iMovie, they were still being stored somewhere else because that's just how Mac works. Like they work with always backing up your files so that you always have them so yep so i'll see you guys at the exhibit so i just got an email saying that i have a chargeback on one of my orders i am severely annoyed I'm so annoyed because it's like I go so hard to first of all I'm a small business June 24th made a year that I've been in business we're only at August 21st I'm just a little over two months 
a year and two months that I've been in business. And it's like, why would somebody do that? And then what kills me is that I know that I go so hard for my brand and I'm the only one repping my brand and I care about my customers because I hate being given shitty products. Like, I'm a customer too to other brands and I know how I get treated and when I get bad customer service. So I make it a point to not do it. Like, I'm so kind to my customers. I answer right away. I'm very informative. And then what makes it worse is that I work a nine to five and not only do I work a nine to five, I still on my break time, either I or I'll have someone else go to the post office to drop orders. Your order, if you order from me yesterday, you're getting your order shipped out today. You're getting a tracking number by the afternoon, the evening. So it's like, why do that? Why do that to a small business? Why do that to a small black owned business? And the reality of it is, it's probably somebody that looks like me that's doing that shit. And it's just so fucked up because for $20, you needed $20 back that bad that you would dispute it as fraud, as fraud. There is nothing fraudulent about me. There is nothing fraudulent about my brand. And, you know, I'll be on social media and I'll be on TikTok and I see a lot of brand owners go through this, that they have chargebacks and... I've always been so blessed that I've never had that. I've never had to experience it. And now it's like, damn, like, for $20, you didn't need it. Like, whatever you needed that $20 back for, you just should have never brought my products. You just should have never bought no lashes. Because clearly you really needed that $20. You really needed it that bad. And what's fucked up is that they not only going to take the $20.80 from me, right? They still going to turn around and the bank going to charge me $15 so one more dependent on the bank that you have and it's just like like bitch what was the reason you could never be that hard up for $20 like really like I have so much people who actually do big orders like really support me and do big orders like I'm talking 50 and above you know and it's just like, you would think, I don't even want to put this out in the atmosphere, but you know, you would think somebody would do a chargeback for that. But for $20, are you kidding me? You needed the $20 that bad? I don't know. I just, I'm annoyed by that. But it's like, fuck it, I got to charge it to the game because I'm only going to be bigger and better from here on out. And it's going to be a lot of people doing a lot of slime bullshit and they gotta deal with God. Like it's just like, fuck it. It just sucks because I'm know I know that I'm trying so hard to to be somewhere and to give quality products and quality customer service. So for someone to do that, it really sucks. But and I know who it is, but obviously I can't expose them because I'm not gonna do that. But can't be putting our first names and last names on the internet. But that shit is crazy. So we're here. I'm trying to find the entrance so I can walk in. I know I have to show my vaccination card and my ID to make sure that it really belongs to me. But I'm excited. And I like you. <laughs>
so I'm all done guys I have hat hair um, we weren't allowed to use I had to take my little tripod off of my camera I'm not sure why but I feel like it's because um, like the tripods and the selfie sticks they block other people's view of the exhibit so it was pretty cool I loved it uh, I didn't think it was gonna be as full as it was seeing that we got here at 12 on a Saturday I felt like people normally sleep in but then again because of the fact that it is ending in like <coughs> two weeks or less I felt like it was a lot of people but I had fun and I even got some pictures so I still have to go home and take some more pictures I'm not sure which pictures I'm gonna post first but we'll see I feel like I'm in Miami I'm in Long Island City and I am going to I've been taking pictures and I'm gonna take I took pictures for a brand activewear that was so kind enough to send me a package so now I want to take pictures in a set of skims that I have because I want to take pictures in a set of skims that I have because I took a picture in another pair but I wanted to take a pair a picture in another location I'm all tongue-tied I don't know why but I want to show you guys how pretty it is over here let me show y'all hold on okay guys so this part of new york is called long island city and if i zoom in that is a boat that actually sails up and down and you can have food drinks and they play music it's really cool but look how beautiful it is because you get views of new york city new york city is really on the other side long island city is a different part of queens and it's just so pretty and I'm definitely coming back here next week to take some pictures in. Ew, let me zoom out because why the fuck? Yeah guys, so um, I have this really cute slip dress and I feel like it would be so cute if I took a picture out here. I actually have, I don't even know what you would call it. They was calling it um, a yellow color. It's from Zara. It, Zara. It's, it's from Zara. They was calling it like a yellow color. But I don't know. It kind of gives me like yellowish mustard vibes. I don't know. But um, it's like a weird type of shade. But I definitely want to come out. I also have that seam dress in red. And I really don't know what color shoes to wear with it. It's like a really fire red slip dress. And... I didn't wear it before because I was waiting for me to put my long black hair in and I don't know we're supposed to get hit with a tropical storm I've been drizzling all day so I'm happy that I came out here and got to take my pictures but I want to see tomorrow if I could come out here really quickly and take some pictures in the slip dress so I'm at the mall I came to go to Victoria's Secret I need some undies like it's time it's time to re-up and my nails be mad long. Sometimes they just be going straight through them motherfuckers. People always talk about I should wear a fancy panties. She don't got none. Rihanna got bras and lingerie, but not panties. All right, let me see. Oh wow. This is so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wow. This is, I know we're not really going crazy for pumpkin, but this is the boy pumpkin vanilla. So, mm, toasted coconut cupcake and then the caramel pumpkin swirl. Okay, let me try the, uh, the, the, the cupcake, cupcake first, cocktail. Tiffany, because. Ew, no. Uh, 
so much with that one. Practicing social distancing and making hand sanitizers available to help ensure the safety of our customers and associates. I don't know. I do not know. But you know what, guys? I wanted to get something like this. For my candles, I have a bunch of candles and I want to like change the background up in my room. I'm working on that, so having my candles burning in a pretty candle holder, that would be so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. Okay, let me shop. Let me put down my camera because I don't know if I told you the story about me and Bath and Body Works last year at the beginning of COVID, but I'm going to tell y'all after this. Guys, I'm at Stop and Shop, and you know what I meant to tell you guys? I know I said that I was going to the spa tomorrow, but there's a big tropical storm coming, and it's supposed to start. It was supposed to start earlier, but it might start tonight. So I don't think I'm going to the spa tomorrow. But I'm at Stop and Shop, and I'm gonna get some groceries. <sighs> Let's see what I get. Supermarkets be so unnecessarily cold. Like, I'm freezing. I get that you have to keep stuff cool, but my God. I'm looking for cereal. You guys, I've been fiending for um, um, Honey Nut Cheerios. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. The supermarket and there's literally nothing here. Like, people get so scared with the storm they wiped out everything even a salad it's like no salad crazy look y'all i got kombucha i always wanted to try it maybe i should try it what flavor should i get should i get tropical punch should i get pomegranate probably not cayenne cleanse i won't want nothing to do with a cleanse i hate everything ginger you know what i think i'm going to try the tropical punch they have a Starbucks in here. Thank you. So, fun fact. I'm home. That's not the fun fact. But I never actually sit on my bed in my outside clothes. So, I'm literally sitting on a sheet. Just so I could prop myself up. Prop the camera up so I can talk to you guys. But, um. Went to the mall. Nothing in the supermarket. But I wanted to show you guys some of what I got from the mall. Um, what was I gonna tell you guys? Yeah, when I was in Victoria's, I got some panties, and I'm not gonna show y'all because I don't want to give pervy vibes. But I got some panties, and I wanted to get more thongs. I really hate thongs. I hate them, but like they kind of work better for me. Like when I'm working out, oddly enough, like they work better for me. So, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so the girl, like, they barely had a selection of panties. Like, you could just tell that Victoria's Secret is going out of business. They just, they just a mess. They ain't got shit. But, um, <laughs> the girl tried to direct me to some lace panties. I don't wear lace panties. I don't wear lace songs. I'm not that girl. I wore a lace song off the street one time, and it tore my ass up. It tore my ass up like no Samar. I will never do that again to myself. I would never wish that on anybody. Your ass will be raw. So very cute for trying to be cute for someone trying to take pictures but to really feel like you're gonna stroll around a whole day with that if you can do that i think you're a demon but i went to bath and body works these are the, i got this candle and it's in the scent blueberry maple pancakes i think i had this a long time ago my guys guys I wish you could smell it I'm going to make you smell it anyway right it smells so freaking good I love a sweet scent they was trying to the girl was trying to help me and give me pumpkin stuff and it's like I get that it's in season I'm just not a pumpkin girl I, I think pumpkin should just be for taking pictures because like what's the point like what's the point of a pumpkin like y'all be pushing the lattes on everybody y'all trying to put it in everything did that then i got salted butterscotch oh you want to smell okay here 
smells so good love that for us oh my god i only got two i had to get in there and get out because let me tell you something when bath and body bath and body works gets my money like nobody else like i have candles that i have yet to even light i had to get out of there and i bought some panties oh and i bought two cents from victoria's secret do you wear victoria's secret perfumes i have a lot of high-end perfumes and um more expensive perfumes but i'm like sometimes like on my everyday to work like i don't want to be spraying out my perfume so i was like let me get let me just pick up a scent because they had two for 25 dollars so i was like why not and i was already looking to get a scent i had went to the mall a while back with my sister katie and she had picked up a scent that i had told her about and then don't the way i knew about it was from tiktok i learned a lot of shit from tiktok and they was like oh <laughs> that they had a scent in Victoria's Secret that wasn't cheesy and it really smelled really good and smelled like high end and stuff but like you know like a subtle smell I'm somebody that likes subtle smells most of the times because yeah whatever but they was like little Miss Jenner Kylie like wears it all the time and she gets compliments all the time and she has to tell people like it's a Victoria's Secret perfume so let me show you guys what that is so it's the scent Coconut Passion y'all it smells so good i want to say it smells so good it just it does what it's supposed to do just a little yeah a little sweet smell light it's very light and then she was saying i was just gonna get this because i didn't want I, I went into the mall and i told myself i'm not overspending i'm not doing it and she was like you might as well get two because if you get one it's 18 dollars and then I started to weigh my option. And I'm like, $25 is right there, so I could just spend it, like, whatever. So then I got velvet petals. I was asking the girl, like, what is really light? I ain't want nothing. That smell really cheap or overpowerful. And I still can't tell you what I smell like. I haven't. I'm not that girl. I've been on fragrance TikTok. And I'm not that girl that mastered how to, like, describe scents. But... It's cute or whatever. Um, I got me a slice of pizza. I text. Uh, I sent a text to my trainer to tell her like, you know about the storm. Like, we should just play it by ear for the morning because we have a session in the morning at nine o'clock. So I was like, I know, like, you want to just play it by ear because it's gonna be a storm. She's like, yeah, I just found out it's gonna be a storm. Somebody told me about that, so we're basically gonna play it by ear. I think I'm gonna do. I'm really tired, you guys, because you guys know I went to bed two o'clock in the morning this morning because i was filming two try on hauls for you guys so i think i'm just gonna finish up and go to bed because i'm tired i also took pictures today i took picture one picture and one of the outfits from the brand active wear and when i tell you it was really spontaneous because i was racing against the rain and when i tell you the first three pictures were perfect they were perfect and that never happens to me i usually catch an attitude have to yell at the camera person and then but my pictures they was hitting today so god is good so those pictures should last me all next week and you know that basically next week i work the weekend so those are the pictures that i'm going to post all next week and i won't be able to post i'll take new pictures so the following week um yeah i don't really think i have anything else. oh y'all want to know my little candle story so basically last year <laughs> during COVID I put my pizza in the oven and to warm it up let me go get it so basically last year at the start of COVID bro when they were about to open back up they started opening back up slowly smallly and basically they open the malls. So I always ran to the malls. I ran to the malls. But there was a line outside every store because they didn't want to pack the stores to capacity because obviously because of COVID. So I went online outside of Bath and Body Works because I don't know. Like I feel like I could be an emotional shopper, but I also feel like stuff like candles just make me feel good. Like they just make me feel happy. Like I like to have a clean house. I like to smell like my house to smell sweet and to smell nice. I just feel like it smells homely. Like 
there's candles everywhere around my house kitchen um bathroom living room my little dining area you know what i'm saying and i go to buy candles i'm like because i didn't really have anything i wanted to buy because remember like it was still outdoor seating but it was still a little um it wasn't like fully springtime yet it wasn't like fully warm and i don't really like <laughs> cold air so i was like i wanted to buy something i just wanted to get out and wanted to buy something so how the bath and body works it's my time they let me in i'm walking around the store i'm so happy like so instead of them letting you hold the little baskets that they always let us hold they were giving us the big um bath and body works bags you know the big bags that they give us the plastic um not plastic the paper um disposable bags that they would give out to their customers if you bought a lot of candles or products whatever so i'm just basically they gave you the little the little tray holder in it so i'm basically just moseying around picking my scents child i swung around why the fuck did i break a candle i was freaking mortified because i was that girl i've never in my life breaking anything in a store and i'm like really really Brittany, with your big ass you just gonna swing around with your hulk shoulder and break stuff i was so tired i was so embarrassed and what made it worse i think it was like the lady being like oh no it's nothing to worry about it happens all the time you're a lying ass bitch because i've been here and i ain't never hear nothing go crashing down don't try to make me feel better i know i'm a klutz i know i'm clumsy i know i'm a dumb bitch i know you mad as hell that you gotta sweep that up and i get it don't try to act like everything's okay because i am not okay inside i was embarrassed because there was the line outside you know and a more like in bath and body works they don't really have like a glass like they probably have like the you know the gate that they pull down so like people would just see me break stuff as they're waiting again and i know they probably just like that would have never happened to me like they got this bitch it was so cringe and today was the first day that i've ever went back to bath and body works so let's clap it up for me because child it took a lot too it took a lot but i did it and i'm proud of myself but yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow or something. Love y'all. So, y'all remember in the supermarket, I was saying I was going to get kombucha. And I'm like, let me try it for the for y'all. Let me try it for y'all. So, that's what I'm going to do here. But, I also want to try it for TikTok. So, I'm going to record on TikTok and I'm going to record here. So... All the girlies can see it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a little explanation of what the fuck I'm doing on TikTok. So I know I just told y'all, but bear with me, please, please, gritty. So I remember when everybody was going mad hard for kombucha, I never tried it, and now I want to try it. So I'm gonna try it. Bitch, I spilled it. Now I want to try it. So I'm going to try it. Y'all. She's not that girl. What the fuck is this supposed to do? It's a detox, I guess. For your gut. I mean, for all that, I could have took my little colon cleanse. Good morning guys i'm going to the gym and my camera is legit on nothing so i'm not gonna be able to record today and it's raining like i was telling you guys the tropical storm is coming so um i'm walking in a circle because i feel like i look so bad and i'm looking for the best lighting but a tropical storm is coming so why did i tell y'all so the only thing i'll be doing today is going to the gym going back because there's really nothing to do and yeah so i'm wearing that outfit that i got from amazon today and um yeah so i'm not gonna be able to record at all in the gym i literally have one bar so i'm just gonna take it and check in back with you guys when i am done with my workout and i'm coming back home i'm wearing y'all 
and like I said, I'm not going to be filming at all because my camera is on 1%. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Hi guys. So, ooh, it's bright. Hi guys. So I'm back home from the gym. I'm going to shower really quickly and then make some breakfast. It's a little bit after 10 and I have so much I have to do because this is going to be one of my long work weeks because you guys know I work every other weekend. So my only day off this week is Friday. So I have a lot that I have to get done so that i'm not overworking during the week so i did get a package from my vendor for um some lashes i do have to restock my site i do have to actually take the lashes out the packages put them in boxes which i fold all by myself and then put labels on them which i do all by myself as well so i cut the labels and put them on the boxes which is a whole different task all within itself and then I have three more try on videos to film for you guys. And I really wanted to do something special for activewear. Um, I also wanted to put the clothing that they gave me on. I think I want to do either a separate YouTube video for, for it. Which it wouldn't be that long of a video. But you know what? I just kind of want to dedicate it to them. Because they were so kind enough to send me stuff. And that was my first ever PR package so we love that for me people are seeing me and what I just realized is that activewear actually wrote me a letter when I was taking everything out the bags I realized that she sent me more than what I actually picked out which was so kind and so grateful because as a small business owner I know what it's like to you know send PR to people send people free stuff and you know sometimes people don't uphold their end of the bargain you know and I don't, I want to just show my appreciation because she didn't have to send it to me. But I realized that she sent me a card. How pretty. First of all, it's pink and it's my favorite color. And I love butterflies. If you know me, you know I love butterflies. I mean, they're all over my ass. But, um, it says, Dear Britt, we love, the con we love your content and how you uplift women and give fresh and tips. We have, <laughs> we, we have, we hope. You love everything we've sent. Your support, sirs, can use your code BRIT for 20% off. Thank you, Joy, the owner of Activewear. So thank you so much, Joy, for sending that to me. So, yeah, I'm going to make some TikToks in the Activewear, and then I'm going to make it as well on my YouTube page. And I already took some a picture in one of the outfits that she sent me that it's going to go up next week. And she gave me a code that all you guys can use if you choose to and the code is Brit for 20% off I do it's not an affiliate code for me it's just something for you guys I do not get anything from it I do not benefit from it anyway shape or form except for the clothes that she gave me so I just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer I do realize that it looked like I couldn't read just now but I guess like I was trying to read it fast but whatever my brain is scrambled from the gym um yeah, so my camera's on 1%, so I'm definitely going to charge that as I do all the little stuff that I have to do. And I have to edit a video, because I think I want to put a video up on Wednesday. I probably don't even need to put it up on Wednesday, because I don't even know when's the last time I uploaded. I don't know, but I can take my computer to work and get that done. But actually, the video's already done. I just need to add music to it, so... Yeah, so guys, I'll check in later. Today's going to be a very busy day for me. It's going to be a very busy week for me, but I am not going to leave you guys for dead. You guys are going to come along with me. Oh, sidebar. Yeah, I think I was playing when I was talking about the gym reps from Nicole Ari Parker. I was sweating profusely so much, and my lace is still intact. Love that for me. Good morning, you guys. So, ew, I look so bad, but... What I wanted to say is, I've been trying to film this Get Ready With Me. No, not Get Ready With Me. I've been trying to film, like, this clothing haul for the longest. Like, oh, my God, I had the past weekend off, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried. And it just seemed like everything was going wrong. Like, I literally <laughs> cried. Like, I was, I literally cried, like, out of frustration. Like, that's how bad it is. Then my camera, I clearly hit... Some type of setting on the camera. I think it's ISO Auto. And then it ends up putting some shit at the bottom of the camera. 
Like, so basically, when I'm filming from far away, I think that the camera is alerting me about something. Like, sometimes, like, being overheated, because sometimes the camera tells me when it's overheated because of all the lights. So, then I end up running to the camera to see what's going on, and it's just that sitting there. So, I have to figure out how to take that off. I don't even know who to go to. I feel like my friend told me I could go to the Geek Squad, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Then I set up a backdrop, because I hate the blue in my living room. Because, I don't know, I just felt like... I would like it to be like a white crisp backdrop so then I remembered I had like this whole backdrop thing and then with the cloth backdrop I ended up put it up and let me show you what it looks like let me show you so my light is off right now but this is what it looks like right and do you see how like it doesn't come all the way down to the ground and I didn't even think it was going to be a problem at first until on camera. You could see it. And I just feel like, I just feel like it gives trap house vibes. So I'm annoyed because, yeah, so I'm annoyed basically because I feel like it's not looking how I would like it to look. Like I have a vision of how I would like it to look in my head. And I want, I want all my videos to be something that I would watch not just you know what i'm saying like not just something thrown together i feel like I've, but the worst part about it all is that i refilmed i filmed three videos and i refilmed each of those three videos three times like so that was the reason for my tears like it's just not looking how i wanted to do i definitely want to paint in here but i don't want to put too much into this apartment because i am going to be leaving next year but it's just like I, I fucking hate it. I just feel like it's always one step forward, two steps back. Whenever I get over one hurdle with something, like whether it's like something techie involving like YouTube or whatever, it's always something else. It's like, damn, let me live. Let me be great. Like, I just want to produce good content. Like, so I ended up throwing a fit and I called out of work for three days. This is my third day calling now. I'm going out back tomorrow and, um, yeah y'all the drama i was just like you know i'm not in the right frame of mind i don't want to go to work and end up getting into it some into it with someone because i'm just severely frustrated and then i got a hair appointment next week i don't know what i want to do to my hair but i know that my hair has to be dropped off to her within five days before my appointment so that she can make it into a wig so i have some blonde hair and i'm torn between two colors and I don't know like if I do one color I can still put the other color on top of it and I'm not I don't know but I hit my beautician up and I had asked her like for a certain color like was was this rinks okay to use and she didn't get back to me she's sometimes she's really busy and she normally always gets back to me but I guess she's busy I know she's supposed to be going out of town too so she has a lot going on so I didn't even bother writing her back I don't feel like I hate doubling messages I hate double texting I feel like you'll get back to me when you feel like it I mean I don't like feeling like I'm annoying like even if I really want to answer for you I hate feeling like I'm annoying so I feel like I'll just figure it out myself I'm just gonna dye my hair because I used to dye my hair all the time it's just that I just hate the process of dyeing hair I just feel like it's tedious and it's annoying but it's like I told myself I'm gonna start saving money I'm not paying for anything that I can do myself so I don't think I'm gonna dye the frontal I've seen how people can dye the frontal and spray the guys to be on the frontal, but I don't think I'm going to do that. And if I do decide to dye the hair, I think that I'll record it and then I think I'll record me dyeing the hair and all that. And then I'll record the install as well. And then I'll do that as like a separate video. Normally, I always just show you guys when I'm vlogging how I go to get my hair done and all that. But I think the whole process of me dyeing and everything, I think that would be pretty cool for me to just have a separate video but like see look at this fucking backdrop looking like a sheet that's in the window of a trap house this is exactly why okay y'all i'm gonna make some breakfast and i have to edit another video that's supposed to be out next week i just feel like i might as well do it because i'm home and i have nothing else really doing and i want to remove some of the space on this memory card and it's just better to, for me just to stay ahead of ahead of things oh not to mention 
one of my videos that was supposed to go out before the video that's going out today which is like the get ready with me brunch it got corrupted because what i found out i don't know if i told you guys already but i found out that basically when you update your computer and you still have files in imovie like basically imovie and whatever update you you have can't tell the difference between anything so it updates and the files in there gets corrupted so they're no longer in use like you can't use them and i'm like that's so fucked up like y'all should tell people that and then i'm like they probably be telling us that in one of those long ass emails that we never read but i'm just like that's that's crazy that's crazy like and i'm just like that frustration you guys all right let me go eat Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down 